Да. Okay, now it's a time to go to a spaces reports and interpret tables. But before that, I iterate another time that if you want to access uh, Kaggle data sets, please uh, comment a sentence uh, to receive the links for data sets. But first table of SPSS reports is about genders. In this table, we see that there is 435 female and 565 male participants. In another tables, we have descriptions about dependent variables. In this tables, we see that mean of cholesterols is 4.86, but mean of cholesterols given female participants is 4.96 and given male participants is 4.79. And this table is speak about equality of covariance that uh, interpreted in the last and also this table is speak about equality of error variances also, we uh, interpret numbers and values in these tables, and now it's time to go to multivariate test results. There is four different tests in multivariate tables to interpret results about relationships. Uh, we see that uh, Phyllis trace works on the hotel interest and the row's largest rows. It's usual that interpret pillar stress results. In this table, we see that there isn't a linear relationship between age and dependent variables, uh, but there is a linear and significant relationship between gender and dependent variables with a p-value uh, uh, near uh, 0.002. Another columns you have to check in these tables is observed powers. Observed powers is a value between 0 to 1, and every power near to 1 is a near to significant relationship. For example, we see that for gender, uh, power report uh, dot uh, 79 or 79 persons, but for age reported, a little, a small value or uh, dot uh, 17 or 70 persons. Now I conclude about these tables and say that we can uh, conclude that uh, there is a linear and significant relationship between gender and dependent variables, means both cholesterols and LDL, LDL variables, but there isn't a linear relationship between age and dependent variables. Multivariate tests tables speak about total effects. For example, there is a linear uh, relationship between genders and both dependent variables, and there isn't a linear relationship between age and both dependent variables. But if I want to speak separately about every dependent variables, you need to go to another tables named tests of between subject effects. Now, if we consider 5% type 1 error, there is a linear relationship between gender and cholesterol. And if we consider 10% type 1 error or alpha, there is a linear relationship between genders and both dependent variables. 
in the last columns reported observed power another time now a questions that may arise for you is about regression formula since we fit regressions in these tutorials maybe you ask about regression formula SPSS reports a tables named parameter estimates these tables with beta or regression coefficients and we can write regression formula for both models okay I write here <coughs> Regression formula for both dependent variables means cholesterol and LDL with independent variables means age and gender. Now, another time, I notified that we coded female participants with value 1 and male participants with value 2. Now, if I want to interpret results of uh, parameter estimates so I can say that female participants compared to male participants have 70% more cholesterol but 12% less LDL now it's a time uh, to check about lack of fit uh, parts in SPSS reports and we see that there is a tables named univariate test and now we see that uh, p-value is less than uh, five persons alpha and uh, SPSS reports a, a lack of fit for these uh, regressions and uh, then we can uh, say about estimated marginal means in the marginal means part, you see that there is a table that is similar to description statistics and reports mean and standard error. Also, 95% confidence intervals for cholesterols and LDL dependent variables given genders. And you can see uh, these values and interpret in your reports, but there is a table. Uh, under this uh, estimates named pairwise comparisons and you can uh, compare uh, every dependent variables between female and male genders for example we see that there is a significant uh, difference between male and female in cholesterol and uh, also, there is a significant difference between male and female in LDL dependent variables, but in 10% alpha level. This tutorial is overdone and uh, thanks a lot for being with Omar Don. But in summary, in this tutorial, I, uh, we speak about uh, a practical uh, test uh, in a statistics named multivariate multiple linear regressions. And we speak about uh, assumptions of these regressions, how to check assumptions, how to interpret tables. But in the future, I, future, I want to speak about uh, manual one-way and two-way manual in SPSS, RStudio, and different statistical programs. Then, if you have not followed our modern YouTube channels, click on subscribe buttons to be notified about new tutorials. And wait for new tutorials in the futures. Thanks a lot for being with Omar Don and kind regards.